What's up guys, it's me Sean here with some C-Sharp tutorial here today and today we're going to look at how to create combo box in your program and also some of the cool features we can do with this. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to add some tools into our form. So I'm going to add a combo box tool. So if you can't find this combo box here, you can just type in combo and you will come up. So just click that and drag it onto the screen, okay? And next thing we need to put is a text box. So we're going to type text box here and then put text box out onto our screen as well. So we have a text box and we have a combo box, okay? And the third thing we have to put is a button. So a button is right there and then put it onto our screen. And the last thing we need to put is a label. So right now I'm just putting a bunch of tools. I'm going to explain why we're doing this in a second here, but you just need these four things, okay? So now I'm going to change this button's text into something that's relevant, like say something like add, okay? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to type something into my text box and then if I hit add, it will put that text into our combo box. And once we click the combo box item, it's going to display that item onto our label. So pretty much we're storing data into combo box, but also we're retrieving data from the combo box. So we can use this in our program. So let's get to coding part. So the first thing we have to do here is adding a event to a button, okay? So now let's double click our button here and then we're going to get a method. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to retrieve a string value from my text box property. So I'm going to do string s equals my text box was text box one dot text. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to store whatever's inside of my text box into s, okay? And then after that, I'm going to put that string into my combo box. So what we can do is we can do something like combo box one dot items dot add, okay? And then inside of this parentheses, you're going to put whatever the thing you wanna put it into a combo box. In this case, I wanna store whatever was inside of my text box, right? So I'm going to say S because I stored it in there and then semicolon. Let's test this out. So now what will happen is, so if I press the drop down menu here, it's not gonna show anything because I haven't stored anything. But now if I type in something and then if I hit add, what it will do is it will add that item into Sean or the combo box. So now if I click this item here, it's going to put that item into our combo box screen, but it's not gonna change our label. And that's our final goal. So how about we code that now? So let's exit out of this program. And then we're going to go back into our .cs, the design view. So now we're just going to double click our combo box. So if you double click, what it will happen is it will generate a method called select index changed. So basically it's saying if we pick an item out of combo box, we want to do something with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my labels text according to whatever we chose. So I'm going to say label one dot text gets the combo box text, combo box dot text, just like that. And if we do that and let's run it and you will see that whenever I write something here and then hit add and it will be stored inside of our combo box and if I pick this it's going to change my label so basically just like this so as you can see we can use this property to do a lot of stuff that's very useful for our program but there's one problem so here I'm going to show you some tips with it so basically if user type in something and then hit add multiple times what it will do is it will put all that stuff into our list, which is really bad, right? So here I'm going to show you how to not do this in your program. So let's go back into our code here. So what we need here is a if structure. 
and basically what we want to do is we want to put the string into our combo box if it's not inside of our combo box already so what we're going to do is we're going to say exclamation mark and combo box one dot items dot contains parentheses with s so basically it's going to check inside of my combo box to see if it already has that string s and if it doesn't it's gonna go into this if structure here where I wanna include that string into my combo box so if I run this right now so basically if I type in something here and then hit add it's going to add in here but you remember before if I clicked bunch it would have just put bunch of these text into here but because of that if structure it's not going to do that so yeah that's basically how you use combo box to store data and retrieve data so if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you guys want more future tutorials please subscribe and thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time thanks